From the moment he debuted, this superstar has known how to make an entrance. The following contest is a first blood match. Making his way to the ring from Sacramento, California. Weighing in at 265 pounds, Alpha. Dropping his old name seems like a cry for help. Am I the only one hearing it? All I hear is applause, Corey. The fans love him. Time to see what Tavish's prized pupil is really made of. Make way for Ludwig Kaiser. A man dedicated to the cause of Imperium and its leader, Gunther, proving time and time again that the mat is sacred. And his opponent from Hamburg, Germany, weighing in at 220 pounds, Ludwig. Well, this is going to be special to watch. We are looking at a truly refined and elite level competitor. Now, uh, more like an elitist competitor. That sounds to me like you're a bit envious of Ludwig's talents in the ring. Yeah, there's no denying, however, Ludwig's technical skills. Well, he's still kind of a mean guy. He's not a mean guy, Saxon. He just doesn't like you. No matter who you are, Ludwig Kaiser is a truly intimidating opponent. Oh, practically unflappable, strict, and regimented. And there's such precision in everything he does. Some have called this superstar a bit too intense, and as we can already see from the look in his eyes, there's a reason why. In this business, intensity often breeds success, and he is well aware of that. He's hoping that focus and drive really propel him to success. And that brings us to Ludwig Kaiser, a supremely disciplined competitor. Kaiser is so exacting between the ropes, rarely making missteps as he goes about his work of destroying his opponents. If you ask me, Kaiser's a little too cold and disciplined for his own good. He's so tightly wound that if anything goes wrong, he's liable to go totally ballistic. That's just dangerous for everyone involved. Uh oh, there's a submission on the way. It's in. Make it four leg lock. No choice but. Oh, look at this. He's trying to turn it. He does. Turns the pressure. And he's burning Larry. Trying to find his bearings, but it looks like his end is near. No way. Suicide dive to the outside. Cole does it better. That is reckless abandon being shown. And paying off as well. I expect a cunning strategist like Ludwig Kaiser to succeed in this match by picking his moments carefully. He's not one to waste energy or go for big desperation moves. He'll bide his time and then strike with precision. Sounds like you approve of Ludwig's usual approach, and it could work for him here in this match. Powerless position to be in right now. Right across the legs. Oh, there's a submission on the way. It's in. No choice but the tap. Oh, look at this. He's trying to turn it. He does. Turns the pressure. Ah, uh, setting them up. Front double underhook slam. All of Ludwig's impressive self-discipline couldn't save him from that attack. And down with the suplex. There. Oh, right across 
the throat. He's back into the ring. Wait a minute, setting in. Devastating submission coming. Well, this isn't going to win the fall, but it's going to do a lot of damage. Able to punch his way out. Simple but effective side headlock takeover. Tremendous pressure on the head and neck. Are intended. Raw power. It could be lights out. Elevated triangles in. I'm oh, gonna tap out here, but it ain't gonna matter. You still do a lot of damage, though. The elevated triangle. Short shots to the ribs break the hole. This athleticism is off the charts. An elbow drop for added measure. Boom! Did you hear the impact? Up the turnbuckles. What's he gonna do? Oh! The Damian Hammer strike. Heads out of the ring. What's next? Leg lariat with the arm wrench. Very nice. Oh, he retaliates. Seen the arm driven all the way down for a European arm breaker. Toss back into the ring. Looking for a high risk move. Perched up top. Buster connects. We're undoubtedly nearing the end. There is no way this can go on for much longer. Superstar will have to ask himself some tough questions after that performance.